Tensions in the Middle East have been further inflamed by a series of attacks launched by Iran. Iran says its missiles and drones hit southwest Pakistan and what it claims is the base of a militant group opposed to Tehran. And overnight, at least eight Iranian ballistic missiles hit Erbil, the capital of Iraq's Kurdistan region, as well Iranian missiles hit targets in northern Syria. Iran has said it wants to avoid a larger regional conflict, but as Redmond Shannon reports, that's exactly what it appears to be stoking. Rockets fired from Iran and into Iraq. Not something entirely new, but it is another step of escalation in the Middle East, increasingly focused around Iran. The ballistic missiles killed at least four people, including prominent businessman Peshraw Dizayi and his baby daughter. Tehran says the targeted building in the Iraqi Kurdish city of Erbil was an Israeli spy base. An Israeli government official refused to comment on those claims. So I'm not going to speculate on uh, reports coming from uh, beyond our borders. The Kurdish region's leader refuted Iran's claims. All of the allegations that they have uh, made are baseless. Well, uh, what's surprising, we are not a part of this conflict. We don't know why Iran is retaliating against civilians of Kurdistan. Iran says the strikes were in retaliation for a suspected Israeli strike that killed a senior commander of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard in Syria last month. On Monday, Iran also hit what it says were Islamic State targets inside Syria. Apparent revenge for this month's Islamic State suicide bombings at the anniversary memorial of Revolutionary Guard General Qasem Soleimani. Those attacks in southern Iran killed at least 94 people. And on Tuesday, Iranian state media said Tehran struck two bases of an anti-Iranian militant group inside neighboring Pakistan. Iran funds Hamas in Gaza and Hezbollah in Lebanon, both of which want to eliminate the state of Israel. Tehran also sends arms to Houthi rebels in Yemen. They are currently attacking merchant ships in the Red Sea in response to Israel's war in Gaza. The U.S. Navy said Tuesday it intercepted an arms shipment coming from Iran. This week, Iran's foreign minister criticized U.S. support for Israel, telling Washington war is not the solution. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.